Kathy and I'm going to paint the sunset painting and the way I'm going to start although I have already drawn my straight line across and the Sun which is setting I'm wetting the sky you will not wet the water but you will really want to put a lot of water before you start adding color for the sky I go around where the Sun is going to be and I really load up the water. I'm always going to start with my lightest color, which will be yellow, and I go around where the sun is and let this run into where the sky will be. I'm also going to take that yellow into the reflection of the water where the sun will be, and I leave that white spot where the sun is reflecting in the water. My next color is gonna be a red, and I'm going very bold because I want this beautiful color to mingle and mix within the sky as a wonderful, bold land, uh, sunset in a landscape, in this case, a Florida landscape. I will have this beautiful color coming in. I'm also going to do my red into the water. Remember, this did not take a wash but all of your strokes have to go horizontal. I have done this version a couple of times now, so I have one that's already finished painting so I can show you what to do when the sky and water dries. My next step is working with the blue, and I'm using two blues to darken and hitting it with a little bit of the red to make it really dark purple. I want some whites in here so I'm hoping to leave some areas that will suggest white or light clouds in the sky and mingle this dark blue into the reds. And here you can see I'm trying to leave some areas of light. These are lighter clouds. And don't forget to go into your water with your darker blue. It's basically mixing the three primary colors to get the mingling of these yellows with red to make orange and this blue in the red to make purples so going back into the blue to darken this side of the water it should be somewhat of a reflection of what's happening in the sky so down here at the bottom where i am going to have i'm going to take a little bit of brown mixing that with the blue at the same time making very dark for the sand this is where the sand doom is going to be in when this dries, I'll be able to come up and into and over the water. Right now, it'd be way too fuzzy. It would blend with that wet and wet. This is the sand shore, and I want it to be as dark as I dare. And this, again, will be grasses that come up. And so with that finished, I'm going to add, while it's still wet, just a tiny bit of cloud formation in the sky which would be almost like shattered clouds coming across, drifting across here. Now remember, this is gonna dry a little lighter. All right, now I'm gonna switch, even though this is slightly different variation looking, they were done the same way. This has dried enough for me to switch brushes and go into the darks again. I'm mixing red, blue, and brown just to get a really nice dark. And the dark that I want here are for sea oats or grasses. And I'm bringing up these broad strokes, not broad, but skinny strokes, that I want long and skinny, thin, to suggest sea oats from the shore here. Now, sea oats have a bit of detail at the ends. Stick some more grasses down here, because it should be thicker at the bottom. A little bit of thickness down here as well and have some variations of some sweeping in as the as the wind will blow and my sea oats have just some texture coming off at the ends as you know sea oats have these little oat things happening and again very what happens very some are larger than others some are sweeping more but get that detail going on. All right, so I'm almost done, and you will have an opportunity to ask some questions if you want to 
text me back. Uh, but there is more or less the finish. I can do a little more wash here to totally take out some of the white on the foreground and have fun painting sunsets. Thanks.